I come from people who did not go to college. I didn't even finish high school. Very um, people who one might call ordinary Americans who are really hardworking, who were not self-conscious and were not thinking about themselves very much. I observed their lives. Some of their lives were quite difficult. There was a, me a certain measure of violence in my world. I'm not from a middle-class world. I'm from another kind of world. And I absorbed things without being conscious of them. For instance, I was taken to boxing matches by my father when I was quite young, probably around 10 years old. And so I inhabited, as a spectator, a very masculine world in which there were not very many women. And I watched men fight and boys fight in a way that seemed must have seemed to me paradigmatic of the world, though I didn't have that vocabulary. I didn't have a feminist position, and I wasn't saying, well, this is brutal, and this is ugly, and this is cruel. I was just looking at it with open eyes and thinking, this is the way the world is. So this has all been internalized. I see the world in ways that are, might be considered somewhat harsh and Darwin Darwinistic at the same time mediated, as in Darwin, by, by a real idealism and an excitement about the possibilities of the intellect and the imagination to deal with this, this somewhat brutal world.